Hi guys! Okay, so today I will be reacting to videos of me snowboarding from when I was young to like the more recent days, like the Olympics and all of all, everything else I've been doing. I don't even know. Um, you guys can kind of see like the progression. I can kind of reminisce on me snowboarding as a little baby thing and not having to worry about breaking my back. So anyways, let's get to it. So my mom sent me some videos. They're a little grainy because they're from like way back when like 2003. <laughs> ah. Well, I remember this fit too. This fit was fire. It was like the hottest pink jacket and like purple pants. <laughs> I almost died here. Almost went straight over and scorped. But because I'm a boss, I did it and I saved it. And now I'm doing this weird like, what is that? Chloe, what are you doing? All right, now we're good. And then I fell. I don't know where any of these are. Like, I want to say, I don't think it's mountain high, because it's not. And normally, like, on the run I think this might be on, there's, like, a lot of boxes and stuff, and I don't see any. <gasps> That's my mom. I'm riding with my mom. So badass. I, I don't know where this was. Oh, my. My cheeks are so chubby, too. Oh, so cute. Oh, wow, what a view. The look back. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I was, I'm such a risky snowboarder at this stage in my life. I'm really taking big risks here. Cause every time I go like forward, I'm probably gonna catch my edge and fall on my stomach. Oh, look how small my snowboard was, ah. Why am I not that cute anymore? Let's go on YouTube now. So from here on out, we take a big like five year, six, five, six year gap because there was really not much happening. Like I was in Switzerland and didn't really like train, train. I would just ride for fun and like maybe train a little. <gasps> How did I forget about this? This is where things went up for me. Let me tell you about this one. Okay. So this was like my first like contest, like actual contest outside of like USASA nationals and all of that. Um, and it was in Lock, Switzerland. And this is the first time I like won like a contest. I'm scared. Okay, I haven't seen this in so long. Wait. That was cool. Look at my face. <laughs> Oh my god, also my dad's like right there just watching. So sweet. <laughs> Back side, front five, make twist, so loose. And that like scratch on my face was from the day before. A dog like scratched me and I still have the scar. This contest in New Zealand, I was 12 at the time. And this was the first time I podiumed at like a pro event. Like this was me against all the big girls at this point. This is Gretchen Blyler. She's like dope, like she's a legend. Um, I have so much respect for her. She retired a few years ago, but very good, 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 good. Like so good, like role model, like. Amazing. I miss her. I haven't seen her in so long. The people I used to compete with when I first started doing pro events and now it's just like changed so much. It's you don't even see anyone. It's just like a whole new field, which is awesome. But also it's like you miss, you miss the other girls a lot. All right, so here's Chloe. This is kind of when I like learned how to go bigger in the pipe and like really worked on my amplitude for a bit. Crippler seven and cab three. Aww. And then Kelly one because she's a badass and one like the best. Like I don't even know. She had this crazy winning streak for like like 18 contests in a row. Like that's insane. Little one. Look. Aww. But that was like my first big podium. That's like one of the best moments of my life, I think, because 
I was like, no way, it's so cool. I made like $2,500, I like went and I don't know what I did with it, but I spent it on something a 12 year old would, <laughs> like candy. So this is Detour. This contest was so fun, it was such a great day and see what I got up to. Honestly, I think I got worse at some point. This was after due to our, so really fun story. This is my first ever X Games, which was like three weeks after due tour. So I was like, we drove, we were driving back home and I was like, yes, I got invited to X Games. It was like the best, it was very emotional. So excited. So I ended up second at my first X Games. Also look at this scoreboard, 95, 94, 93, 91. Like we were all in the 90s, that's crazy. Nowadays, it's pretty hard to get a 90. Oh, oh, the wind up. It's one time. Oh yeah, you practice, girl, and I fell. <laughs> okay. Third and final attempt, so dramatic. I was so stoked. Again, another contest, I had zero expectations. I was like, I got invited. I'm just gonna do the best I can. Damn, that was big. Okay, now we're on to the US Open that same year. There I am. Oh, also before the US Open this year, I got signed by Monster, it was like, I was so hyped. It was just crazy. I just never thought I would get signed by like a big energy drink company or anything. So it was really cool to, you know, like sign something, get the helmet and put the sticker on my board. It was like a big, big thing for me. I was really excited. Okay, I forgot that I did this, but I guess I started switch. So switch method to cab seven to front five to make twist. To Crippler 7. To switch indie? Who am I? I didn't know I did that run. Wow, props. I can't even do that anymore. So, so this was 2014 in Breckenridge. All right, dropping and switch. Oh, almost fell. Cab 5. Switch back five. Cab seven. Front nine. And then McTwist. I really struggled with McTwist for a really long time because I learned them when I was so young that I like was doing them completely wrong. Like, I don't know. I just did them like a toddler basically until like a couple years ago, but it was really hard for me to break out of bad habits, so. But then we got it fixed, so we're good. So then after due tour, we got into X Games again, and this was my first dub. Oh my gosh, also at this contest, I fell on my face, like last run. I had this thing where I like love hurting myself. If I do hurt myself in a contest, it's always like the last run of practice that I don't even need to take, but I decide to take anyways. So I'll, after this, we watch this, I'll find the video of me falling on my face, but it was nasty. And the worst part was I was like, okay, like I'm gonna do it, I'm okay. Like my face got really scraped up. Like I got wrecked, I got wrecked. And I had like band-aids. I don't even know if I had a band-aid on my face. It was just disgusting. So I was like, yeah, like I got this, I'm gonna do it. So there's a really big screen at the bottom of the pipe, like where everyone stands behind the audience, and then there's one behind you. And then there's two TVs on the side at the top. So everywhere I looked 
was like a screen, right? And every time before my run, these people would play the video of me falling on my face. So I would be like, all right, I'm gonna put myself in a good headspace. That didn't happen. I'd look straight down and it's just me falling on my face, just playing on the TV. That's why my face is like all scraped up here. Oh yeah, I did have a Band-Aid. All right, dropping and switch. That was my thing that year, dropping and switch to switch method. And then cab nine. And then switch back seven. McTwist. Then front nine. You can hear the announcers. They're like, oh, interesting, but that's because this last hit was the hit where I hit my face the run before in practice, so I got super spooked, and I just opted out. I just decided not to do it. And it was just like, my mind was just, I was so scared. So here's the practice. This is the hit. That was the hit I like slammed on like that. And then I'm like sobbing because I'm a baby. Like, look at my face. It was all messed up. It hurt. I had like a big ice burn there, this one on my nose. My nose was like bleeding at one point, like. So that's why I didn't do that. Pretty smart on my end. Honestly, like if you don't feel safe, then like don't do it, you know? <laughs> All right, Burton US Open. Um, first time I like did a front 10 in contest. I learned it like a couple weeks before. So it's still super fresh, super freaky. Um, and I did it, I did it. So proud. I was just, you know, playing the right song. I was probably listening to like Miley Cyrus or something. I don't know. All right, just focusing. Just focus is key. Yay! Front ten. Also, things got really loose too because I never really like put a run together with it. So, just trying to get it together here. Yay! So now we're gonna we're gonna skip over a couple years because things weren't like as exciting then. 2017 was when our Olympic qualification process happens. Pretty much, if you won two of the qualification events, then you had a spot. So this was the first contest, it was in copper, the first qualification event. So yeah, method, um, front 10, cab seven, front nine, McTwist probably is what I did. That was like a, oh, front five, really, really safe. Um, yeah, pretty much like a safety run for me. Um, so yeah, with that run, it put me in first, so I had won the first qualification event, and then we jumped straight into the next one, which was the next week, and it was Dutour. It's wearing the same fit, very unlike me. So yeah, I mean, I've, like, I was pretty nervous, like, pretty nervous. Because also, like, I love competing, but when it, when the Olympics are on the line, it's just definitely, like, trying to be as safe as possible and doing, like, enough, but not too much, you know? And I almost fell. I almost fell after everything. I won this contest as well, and that meant I secured my spot at the Olympics, which was, like, super exciting. And I did do the other two, but obviously, like, I just tried to be safe. I think my whole thing was I just wanted to be with everyone, so I just went and, like, kept competing with everyone and, like, just hung out with everyone. Let's see, I was done around like January, like done competing. We did the, the um, Olympic like team announcement, all of that stuff in Mammoth. And then in February, I went to Japan for a couple weeks to ride POW and just like kind of have fun um, because I knew I was gonna be in a pretty high stress situation the following week. So when I got back from Japan, we, got, we went to Korea and then this happened. Also, like, look at my nostrils, yes. <laughs> I was very focused, just had to land something. So, this is my first run in the final. Drop in. Method. Front 10. Cab seven. Front nine. 
McTwist. And then a Crippler 7. I was hyped. Um, it was like the best having my whole family there and everyone was just so supportive. It was like amazing. Um, I was real hyped. And I had red boots. Oh, I love this. Um, but yeah, this was really cool. This is my first run. Um, and then I fell on my second run trying to do a cab 10. The thing is this half pipe was really, really good. Like it was perfect. It was just a little flat. So there wasn't as much speed as I could have gotten. And because like, I don't weigh as much. And a lot of the girls like, no, we don't really weigh as much. So it's kind of harder to get speed. Whereas the guys, they like, they're a lot stronger. And I don't know, but this first round put me on first. I got a 93.75 and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, aw, so cute. Oh my God, look at that. Love the support I had, like that was the best. And now we're gonna skip to my third run because I fell on my second run, which is fine. Like we can watch that too, but if you wanna watch like a 100,000 minute video of me like falling. Oh, that could be an idea. Videos of me falling on my face. Also, like my girl Ariel got third too, and that was like really cool. So, um, I don't know. So the cool thing of with Ariel like doing well or getting third at the Olympics was she actually qualified for Sochi, and during practice she like broke her arm, like separated her shoulder, and like she couldn't compete because it was really bad. Like she is so happy, and I was so happy for her. Like. I, oh, oh my gosh, I don't, like, me and her, like, had a good cry sesh at the bottom, like, oh my god, dude, like, we did it, like, this is insane. Honestly, all these girls are just so amazing at snowboarding, like, it's, it's really so inspirational. Oh my god. Your champion, your gold medalist, Chloe Kim, realizing that she cannot be dethroned from that top spot. That was the best podium, honestly. Like, I love both of the girls so much. Ugh. Oh my god. I've never, like, had a victory lap and not actually tried to do something. So, this was the same one. And also, like, back-to-back 10s -back have never been done before at the Olympics in women's half pipe. So, obviously, I was gonna try to do that and get that done. So yeah, I was still pretty nervous. I was like, I had like tears in my eyes during this run. I wish I could go back and relive this moment over and over and over again. The girl, oh. I love Ariel so much. Those girls, I love them so much. <laughs> what a good time. Okay, girl, don't fist bump next time. Like, next time I'm not gonna do that because that was, like, kind of embarrassing. I actually want to go back and, like, watch Ariel's run. I think it was her third run, maybe. Yes! She was an 11, and then she made the biggest comeback. All right, Ariel! Uh, I actually never, I haven't seen her run. Because I was on the lift, and it took like 10 minutes to get back up to the top. Alright, go, 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 go. Yes! Oh, I didn't know she did a 10. That's so dope. Yes! Now the backside air kicking out the method. Ariel having a great run here. Frontside yes. with the tail grab. Great execution on Ooh, that. Chuck. Into the Michael Chuck. Ariel Gold puts down an amazing run. Third and final run. This is gonna be a good start. Yes. Queen. You show them what's good. Will that go off? Will it uh, That is like jumping into a little time machine and just going back. You know, just watching all the progression and like how my writing has changed over the years from me wearing a hot pink little jacket and 
almost catching my edge every other turn to, you know, going to the Olympics and doing well there. So that was really cool. We're in 2019, which means there's like another three years to the next one. So I think because there is so much time left, I think I'm gonna take a break and chill for a bit and like not compete for a season and just let my body rest because I haven't done that before. I haven't done that yet. Hopefully I come back better and stronger and just be in a better place. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. I loved, I loved doing it. So hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these times the shenanigans go down. This blanket is really comfy. Shout out to Target for making these. Or the company that makes these and sells them to Target. <laughs> um, so yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys next week. Ciao!